It's a Q and A. It's a Q and A. I'm Samantha. And I'm Gray. <laughs> we decided to make a Q&A today. Q! Because I'm sick. <laughs> That's why I sound kind of messed up. I thought making a Q&A would be good because you guys do all the work. You ask the questions and I just have to answer them. And, and you, you have to answer them. I asked you to give us questions for a Q&A on Instagram and also on YouTube. So we're gonna go through those questions and sorry if we don't get to yours because this video might be forever long if we answer every question. Are Pop-Tarts a form of ravioli? No, that's stupid. Just putting something inside something doesn't make it ravioli. That's dumb. Yeah, it has to be pasta. Yeah, it's, you don't boil Pop-Tarts in water. Boil a Pop-Tart in water and send it to us. The, a picture, ew. not the Pop-Tart. Ew, and, ew. And then I'll admit that it's ravioli. Question two, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Were you able to talk to someone about freezing your eggs for the future? That's a good question. I was able to talk to someone about that. Chemotherapy can damage your ovaries, so that's why I was given the option to freeze my eggs. My oncologist recommended it uh, probably the first day that I was diagnosed. It was known that my type of cancer was not like super, super aggressive, so I had some time before I started chemotherapy so I was able to look into freezing my eggs. And I'm very thankful for that because if I did have a very aggressive type of cancer, they would have wanted me to start chemotherapy right away and then I wouldn't have had that option. Gee, Samantha, that sure sounds like an interesting process. Have you made any videos <laughs> where you explain how that went? Yes. Great. Yes. There's, there are other videos on my channel. Are there gonna be links to them somewhere? Yeah, you can check in the description. <laughs> cool. Have you ever been to the UK? What an inspirational woman you are, X. Which I'm assuming is, is a kiss. A kiss. <laughs> I've never been to the UK. Have you? Well, you've been to Grand Cayman, which is a British overseas territory. That's accurate, yeah. I have been to the UK. I've been to England many years ago. Is that all? That's just all. England? Yeah, just England. Not. Scotland or Northern Ireland or Wales. I want to go to Ireland really badly. Ireland's not in the UK, Samantha. Northern Ireland is. That's true. I want to go to Wales. So I haven't gone to the UK, but I bet it's a I bet it's a great place. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's good. I love how you aren't afraid to have some fun with the essential oil people. That's not a question. <laughs> we strongly uh, believe in essential oils. Do we strongly believe in essential oils? They're essential. They're the way to cure cancer. That's correct. <coughs> Discuss the importance of chicken, alive or not, in your relationship. <laughs> I would say that chicken is a really important part in our relationship. Yeah. Dead chicken. Uh, dead chicken, dead, for sure. Dead cooked chicken. Yeah. And dead cook's chicken. Remember when you killed cook's chicken? If you're not enjoying chicken with your significant other on a regular basis, what are you even doing? in your relationship. Will you be getting a pet together in the near future? I'll go get her. We have... <laughs> Look. There you go. Yeah, so we, we have Q here, whose actual name is Coconut. But, but she I, says Q. I call her Q because she responds. See? Q! And A. See? She always meows when I say that. It went from Coconut to Cuckoo Nut to Cuckoo to Q. And then some people call her Nut or Fluffy. Yeah, she has like 50,000 names, but basically she was at my parents' house and she got really sad when I moved out, so now she's here. Yep, that's a cat. <laughs> yeah, but um, other pets, we probably won't be getting any in the near future. No, probably not. What a lovely couple. Gray looks so nice. Thanks, but that's not a question. He's mine. It's just a fact. <laughs> What did you guys study in college? I studied history and economics at the University of Virginia. I studied computer science. Cool. Isn't that very interesting? Now he's in the law school at UVA. Yes. I so, study law. Yeah. Have you fully recovered from cancer? I never had cancer. <laughs> um, no. Dang it. Really? Still? Yeah. 
It's a long process. It's and a really long process. I'm not sure. Maybe other people would disagree. Maybe you would disagree, but you're never really done with cancer. Yeah. At the very least, you're dealing with side effects from the medications. I think people don't really understand how hard it is to get back to normal life after cancer, and that's something that is not kind of explained to you at the beginning when they first tell you you're diagnosed with cancer. They're like, all right, it's gonna be rough, but then you're gonna get through this and then you can go back to normal. You don't ever really go back to normal, or if you do, it must take a really long time. Um, but yeah, you kind of like just need to, you need to give yourself some mental breaks. <laughs> yeah. Lovely photo, less than three. I think that's referring to this photo that I'm going to force you to edit in. That it is, is a good photo. It is a good photo. Look at that photo. Look at this photo. <laughs> Has your relationship gotten stronger since battling cancer? Yeah. Yes. You have a whole video on how cancer affected our relationship. Yeah. It's yeah. worth watching. One of my favorites. It's a good video, I would say, especially if you um, love somebody that has cancer. <laughs> I do that. If you're in a relationship and you have cancer, also. Hey, helpful. you do that. Yeah, I do that. I think our relationship got stronger with time, but since I had cancer, I think that caused certain things to happen that wouldn't have happened, or caused certain conversations to happen that wouldn't have happened. Yeah. That did um, speed up the process of making the relationship stronger. Right, it was a major unexpected test, which, we had to think about long-term goals and what we wanted and if this was the sort of relationship we wanted to be in. And we both separately and together came to the conclusion that it was. But yeah, if you want more information on all that, we go into way more detail in that other video. We should write a couple's relationship We should write a book. book. And we should, but, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think our relationship is the best relationship. That's correct. I'm very biased, but... Yeah, you can have a good relationship even with cancer or without cancer, and I'm sure most of you have really great relationships. Uh, it's not as good as ours, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But, yeah. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? P.S. I love the photo. Heart. It's a good photo. Yeah, it's a good photo. My biggest fear is has to do with like memory, like losing my memory, mm -hmm. and losing kind of like brain power, because I feel like that's, one of the scariest things that can happen, like if you wake up and you don't don't remember anything, and there's just parts of your life that you forgot. That's the scariest yeah. thing for me. That's my deep answer. My uh, my just like general like phobia. I hate bees yeah. and wasps, <laughs> hornets, anything that flies and stings. I'm Do you not, know what your greatest fear? No, I don't. That's the thing. I'm gonna give some long rambling answer because I don't really know. I've you don't like. Tapeworms and parasites. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, like the idea, sure. Some kind of parasite living inside you. If you've seen Alien, I've actually never seen Alien, but the <laughs> thing that, that burst out of the chest, that's, that's, that freaks me out. Um, yeah, like a tapeworm. And I know it's not like actually the most dangerous thing, but I, I can't stand that. So if you're a tapeworm, just unsubscribe. <laughs> Sorry if that's racist. <laughs> Man, lots of good questions here. Any tips on how to make it easier on myself when I'm in treatment and everybody is poking and touching me? It must be about control. I feel like I have zero when I'm in treatment. My surgery is on 18th March and I'm very nervous. Well, Ooh, good luck. Good luck on your surgery. Hope it goes well. Um, I'm actually a pretty good person to ask this question to because I hate being touched. Um, like, literally, he's the only person that can touch me. Can you tell a doctor, stop or wait or hang on a moment? Yeah. I don't know. If it's a good doctor, they should let you. Because I've had people even ask me that, like, do you need a minute? And I'll say yes or no. I think having a good relationship with your doctors slash nurses really helps with that. And that if you don't have a good relationship with your doctors and nurses, you should either get a good relationship with your doctors and nurses or find somebody else that works well with you yeah. and your needs because I think that's really important. All right, next question, pretty easy. Do you still have cancer? Or is that so such an easy question? Oh, gosh, I hate that question. I think out of all the questions that people ask me, that's my least favorite question that I ever get. Wow, good job. But I'm glad that you asked it so I can explain why. I don't know. Right. 
is the answer to that question. And there are lots of ways to find out if you probably have cancer, if cells are probably cancerous, but no definitive way to find out if you have zero cancer cells in your body. Right. And I guess that's probably why it's so tricky, because you had a large mass of cancer, a tumor. Right, and so then, which according the to most people, that, I mean, according to everybody, that means you have cancer. But if you just have like a few cancer cells in your body, does that count as having cancer? Um, so that depends on the person. And probably you would say no. My PET scan was good, it didn't show anything. And then my MRI showed that the little spot on my rib was smaller. And it's kind of hard to say if it's completely gone or there's still a little bit left. To me, I, I still have to answer that question with I don't know. If even if the answer was no, I would still be on medication. I'm still doing oral chemo, I'm still doing hormone therapy, I'm still doing a bunch of things as if, not as if I had cancer, like a big chunk of cancer, but preventative measures against right. cancer. So I feel like saying, no, I don't have cancer, makes people yeah. think like, oh, she's perfectly healthy now. That's why I hate that question so much, because if I say I don't have cancer anymore, then people are like, okay, then why are you doing all this stuff? And why mm -hmm. are you still sick all the time? Um, <clears throat> yeah. In terms of when people say they're cancer free, I'm not sure I understand exactly what the definition of that the is. The definition and is different based on the doctor and not on the person. And it's not, even saying you're cancer free isn't a 100% confidence that there's no cancer cells in That's your body. That's why usually, I think usually people say that they're cancer free after stuff doesn't show up for five whole years. But even then, even after five years, you never know. Yeah, even after five years you don't know, but if you make it past that five year mark, the chances are lower. Three questions here. You're only supposed to ask one. Come on, three questions. The, we, didn't, we didn't put a limit on the questions. All right, fine. One, do you live together? No, we don't. We don't. I but live I, here, but he's here I spend a lot. time here because his this video is, games are here. I put my video games here. Two, what do you like the most of each other? I like how kind and thoughtful Samantha is. She's literally the kindest person I've ever met. Aw, that was nice. How he's just not afraid to be the person he is. That was something that I saw in him before we even started dating that I thought was something. I... What? I, didn't I, know. I noticed that like, pretty quickly. Certain people in our trumpet section, because that's how we met, certain people that are like really confident in who they are, mm. and you were like definitely one of those people, and I Thank. admire that, because I can't do that. Thank. And number three, do you have any pet peeve? Yeah, I do. Um, I don't I'm like, li I don't like loud chewing. Yeah, that's your big not, one. I'm not even loud chewing, it's just chewing in general. Like, I just can't stand the sound of chewing. I don't like bad drivers. I'm prone to road rage a little bit. Yeah, he likes to win the merging game. Yeah, the game of merging. I'm gonna get in there. And that other guy's not gonna get in there, especially if he doesn't have the right <laughs> way. I don't like any bad drivers who aren't me, right? Because I can be kind of inconsiderate of other people when I'm on the road, but I don't like other people who drive like I drive. Only one of me gets to gets to be on the road. <laughs> Only the you get to do what you want. Right. Everyone else has to follow you. Yeah. Yeah. That makes perfect sense to me. That's right. <laughs> How long were you together before cancer? Well, that's a really good question. Yeah, a little over a year. A little, almost a year and a half. Yeah. Next question. How did you two meet? Who pursued who? We met playing trumpet in the University of Virginia Cavalier Marching Band. I'm sorry, your University of Virginia Cavalier <laughs> Marching Band. There you go. We met when I was a first year starting in the band and you were a second year, mm -hmm. but we didn't start dating until I was a third year and you were a fourth year. Yes. And I guess it would be safe to say I pursued you. He's the one who asked me out. I, That's kind of a tricky yeah. question. Yeah, because <laughs> we started talking about other stuff and then you know, I just kind of started thinking, hey, maybe we should date. And then I asked her out. Uh, I didn't yeah. meet a lot of resistance on that. So tip. I guess she thought Here's I was Here's a cute. tip, boys. Ask them out in person. It's Who doesn't ask someone it's, out in person? It, um, you are the very first person who has ever asked me out in person. What, on, on the phone? Did other people ask you out on the phone? Over text. Over text? Every other person. Ew. Every other person has asked me out. 
by text or over the phone. One person asked me out over don't the phone. Don't ask anyone out over text. Yeah. Don't even, not even the phone. Ask someone out in person. I mean, you're saying you want a relationship with the person, which means spending time with the person and making sacrifices for them. And you can't take the time to see them in person to ask them that. I, I feel like that's a very common thing that happens nowadays. Doesn't mean it's okay. But it is so much easier to say no to someone if they're just asking you out over text. So then we went on a date and I saw how amazing he is, right? And if I had said no to him, I never would have figured that out. So I might have said no to him if he asked me out over text. You are giving yourself an extra like chance to get ahead, to be seen as a good person in her eyes if you ask her out in person. Girls, if a guy asks you out, whether in person or whatever, and you don't want to go out, say no and, and don't do it. I, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were friends before we started dating. If you can date a friend, date a friend. I think it's a, it's good. Does your cat have her own Instagram page? Follow up question. If not, can you please make one? This is more of a demand than a question. I think that's a great idea. Would you come over and take fancy pictures of Q? I would absolutely do that. Yeah? But I would probably update it about as frequently as I update my Instagram page which is like twice a month. Well, we can both have access to it. If right. you took a bunch of fancy pictures of Q, I could make an Instagram okay. page for Q. Comment below names, suggestions for an Instagram page for Q slash coconut slash fluffy slash Alicia slash- Alicia? Alicia. Uh, I've never heard of that one. <laughs> slash um, Frank slash- Reggie. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> slash nut. Slash nut. Slash Kiwi. Nut. Kiwi. Kiwi. I don't even know how to spell Kiwi. What is your fave flavor of Ben and Jerry's? I pay attention to details. Fun fact, years ago I traveled from Houston to Vermont to meet Ben and Jerry's cows. I did stuff like that. My favorite flavor of Ben and Jerry's currently is probably chocolate chip cookie dough. It changes. Um, before, before chemo, I liked chocolate just in general a lot more than I do now since finishing chemo. I don't have a craving for chocolate as much as I used to, so I like more vanilla-y flavors, like with a vanilla base, like chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, your favorite is Cherry Garcia. Yeah, Cherry Garcia is pretty good. If you didn't have cancer right now, where do you think you would be doing differently in life? I would be doing the same thing. Except for I wouldn't have side effects of cancer yeah. treatment. We'd and probably I, be doing more hiking. We'd probably we, have started rock climbing by now. We would be doing a lot more hiking. Cancer affects my life, but I'm trying not to let it affect too much of my life. So I'm still doing the same types of things that I enjoy doing. Yeah. Last question. What a great picture. You two are the cutest couple. Heart, 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 heart. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we are. All right, bye everyone. Be sure to watch some more of Samantha's videos. They're incredible and have some more detailed responses to some of the questions that you asked. Let us know if you want to do another one of these. Yes, thank you for asking questions. Sorry if we didn't get to your question, um, but we will do more if you request that. So then you can have your question answered there. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also subscribe to Samantha's Instagram. If subscribe is even the correct word for Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow please. Samantha on Instagram. <laughs> Don't follow me on Instagram, I'm not very interesting. There's no link below anyway. Some of you have followed me on Instagram, I've noticed. I don't know you people. Yeah, that's all. Bye!